Oumuamua and the Bird of Prey, two objects and events that have the potential to be among the most stunning extraterrestrial phenomena to enter the conscious thinking of humankind in a very long while, perhaps since the now legendary Roswell UFO crash in 1947. These two extraterrestrial objects and events are very recent. They are not something that happened in the distant past that we can now wonder about. They are current, right now, out there. And they have huge implications for how humanity thinks about itself and its extraterrestrial neighbors. Let's begin with Oumuamua. Oumuamua is an oddly shaped object that was discovered in October 2017 using the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii. The object entered our solar system from interstellar space, and at some point it will leave our solar system again, never to return. It is unknown where it came from, but it clearly did not originate from within our solar system. We do not have a picture of the object, but there are diverse theories regarding its shape and size. Based on how it reflects light, some think it is long and thin like a sausage, whereas others think it might be flat and thin like a piece of paper. Now what is truly odd about the object is that it is not outgassing anything like a comet, and even more intriguingly, it's accelerating as it moves away from the sun. If it was outgassing, you could say that the acceleration is due to that. To complicate matters further, it is tumbling in an out-of-control sort of way. This tumbling would have predicted variations in its rotation period if there is outgassing, but again, that is not happening. Now, some very respected scientists have speculated that it may be an extraterrestrial technological object, like a solar sail or light sail, that is accelerating because of the way the light from the sun is hitting or pushing it. Finally, radio transmissions from the object are very weak, less than the amount transmitted by a cell phone. So if it is a tech object, it is pretty much dead. So a better look at the long structure, I'm getting this type of angle and shape of the structure. Hmm. It has a quite long inferior in a regular square top, but it's still curved. I get a still curve. I, I don't even want to give it a roof. I mean, this is like such a, a massive gaping puncture into the side of what looks like to be a huge structure. And it seems like the outside feels like it's space or something like that. So I'm gonna put all these little possibly stars. There are their subjects. They, they kind of have a feeling of elders in a sense here, uh, but they're, they're kind of slouched over. I'm not understanding their posture. They're rather empty. It feels kind of like, like are they, are they dead? This new project conducted at the Farsight Institute employs three remote viewers who are among the most experienced and highly trained viewers existing today. Aziz Brown, Melina Hall, and Princess Jeanne. The remote viewers all describe the same thing. Three totally corroborating reports. Moreover, all of the remote viewing was done totally solo and blind, and none of the remote viewers communicated with one another during the data collection phase of the project. Okay. All right, so here we have uh, after the damage and oh, before the damage. After the damage, before the damage. So now I'm going to go back to the time where it was an active use. This is what it looked like before all that damage happened, but when that damage did occur, it seems like it just ripped through this entire area and just all this stuff just... But the very middle and the very back of the structure looks like a prison. But what of our second element in this current investigation? What is this bird of prey? Well, on December 8th, 2018, an object was quite clearly caught on camera while passing behind the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft as the Dragon spacecraft was approaching the International Space Station in order to deliver supplies. And quite honestly, this unexpected object really does sort of look like a bird of prey spacecraft from the Star Trek science fiction series. Here is the footage that was taken from the International Space Station as the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft was approaching the space station. 
Look closely as the object passes behind the Dragon spacecraft and is illuminated by lights. People, that object is clearly not supposed to be there in that footage. And it is clearly not a natural object. It is obviously a ship of some kind, and not one that we sent up there. Now the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft is something that we sent up there. The International Space Station is something that we sent up there. But that other thing is not something that we had anything to do with. The questions are, what is it? What is inside it? And what is it doing there? I have this one object. It's like gray or silver, and it's also shaped like a cross. And I have other objects around it. Um, here's an image of the cross-shaped object that's metallic and gray and silver. It has like a whiteness to it as well. Zoom over here and goes like stops right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna erase this really quickly. Object three pushes itself like really fast and just sort of breaks itself right here a very very quick movement uh, the uh, the rectangular shape has mixed elements and shapes to it the third the third one is, uh, that i'm seeing over here is the uh, tp structure that's bigger it's bigger than it looks um like like visually looking at it, it kind of just has that pyramid like you just popped open a tent or a teepee and you can sit in it, but like the closer that I get to it, it's it's really large uh, shaped like a triangle. It's very complicated to um, see inside. I have a, inside I'm having. So here I'm getting a lot of structures all together. Seems like a battle, but it's not a battle, but I'm getting a lot of, um, beings like laser beams, uh, a lot of things are just shooting at each other. Um, one structure is trying to get to the cross-shaped structure. Um, this Y structure is trying to move around. There seems to be a lot of chaos, but it's not necessarily a fight. But then again, it's, it's a lot of things being, a lot of lights, uh, lots of lights, and, and things are just being like, shooting at it's a lot of things being pointed at and lasers but there's no big destruction at all but first let's talk about humanity's big problem the big problem that we are trying to address every time we do any remote viewing work here at farsight humanity suffers from what we might call collective anosognosia Anosognosia is a term normally used to describe a patient's inability to perceive and accept a medical condition, including various forms of psychosis. This happens despite overwhelming evidence of the condition. It is not simply the denial of facts or stubbornness. The patient has deep reasons for not being able to see and accept his or her reality. In collective anosognosia, a large portion of a population seems to deny an objectively obvious reality. And no matter what evidence is shown to the public, most of the population either ignores the evidence or does not draw any conclusions from the evidence. Moreover, the major news outlets heavily participate in collective anosognosia. They typically offer skeptical interpretations of virtually all physical evidence of anomalous phenomena, and they walk away from obvious conclusions that require a major shift in thinking. Again, this is not stubbornness. It goes much deeper than that. 